Hello and welcome back to the channel. This video is part of the Web Application Penetration Testing for Absolute Beginners course. Last time we looked at encoding, we covered hex, ASCII, URL encoding, and base64. Here is that video in the info card if you haven't seen it. In this video, we will finally get started with some penetration testing. Today, we will cover the enumeration phase of the pen test. Let's start first by explaining what even enumeration is. In technical terms, enumeration is the systematic process of identifying and categorizing information within a digital system. In the context of web application security, it involves actively gathering details about users, resources, and other pertinent elements present on a website or network. During enumeration, we utilize various techniques and tools to extract specific information, such as user accounts, network shares, or system configurations. This meticulous approach aids in creating an inventory of available assets, allowing for a comprehensive understanding of the targeted system's structure. With that being said, let's start with our first tool. I am going to introduce you to arguably the most used tool in terms of reconnaissance and enumeration. This tool is called Nmap. This tool, short for Network Mapper, is known for its effectiveness in mapping networks. Nmap is a free and open source tool designed for network discovery and security auditing. It helps in revealing details about network hosts, discovering open ports, and identifying services running on those ports. Essentially, it's like a detective for your network, helping you understand what's happening under the hood. So, how can we use it? It's a command line tool that can be used on Linux, or you can even install a GUI version on Windows. But I prefer the command line tool. So, a fundamental aspect of Nmap is its capability to identify open ports on a target system. Open ports serve as potential entry points, and Nmap allows us to systematically probe and reveal their status. Consider the following example. We have a web application hosted on 172.17.0.2, but it doesn't seem to have anything interesting on its web interface, so we go and check the open ports. We can do that using Nmap. This is the most basic command of Nmap. It makes Nmap conduct a scan on the 1,000 most common ports of the specified target IP, which in our case is 172.17.0.2. In the results, we can see that many ports are open, and we can see the names of the services that are running on those ports. These ports can potentially be new attack vectors. But why would open ports be new attack opportunities for us? You're about to find out. Let's take, for example, the port 21. It says that the service running on it is FTP, which is a file transfer protocol. But I want to enumerate this port even more. I want to have more information. So again, using Nmap, I am going to scan the same target, but I am going to add just a new parameter, which is TAC SV, which will tell Nmap to enumerate deeper to find the exact version of the running service. I will also add a TAC P argument to specify that I only want to enumerate the port number 21. As a result, we get the version of the service running on the port 21 is VSFTPD 2.3.4. With a quick search on Google, we see that the version is exposed to a critical vulnerability. And after reading more about the vulnerability, I understood that this leads any attacker to easily gain a remote access on the victim machine. Knowing this information, I downloaded the script associated with this attack and used it on the vulnerable service. As you can see, as simple as that, I am now connected to the victim machine. And what's even worse is that I am the administrator. So I can shut down the machine, I can delete anything. If there is a website on the machine, I can make it inaccessible to others. If there is sensitive information, I can steal it. You get the point. Let's go back to our initial position. I want to show you something else in Nmap. So, as I told you before, these are the results of the scan of the 1,000 most common ports of a machine. But in other cases, we can indicate how many ports we want to scan by using Nmap TACP and then the number of the first port, another TAC symbol, and then the final port number that we want to scan. Using this method, we are going to scan the range of ports between the first one and the second one. 
If we want to scan all the ports possible on the machine, we can use nmaptacp and then a TAC symbol. This checks every single port on a system to sniff out possible weak spots or ways in. It makes sure you don't miss anything, even those non-standard ports, giving you a complete picture of the system's security. The use of nmap tac p -TAC will be very time-consuming for the machine, and your scan can take a few minutes and up to an hour. That's why there is another parameter I'd like to cover in this tutorial, which is the use of threads, specifically T4 and T5. Now, what's the deal with T4 or T5? It's pretty straightforward. These options crank up the scanning speed, giving you faster results. Just pick T1, T2, T3, T4, or T5, and remember, the bigger the number, the faster and more aggressive the scan. The last thing I want to show you are the Enemap scripts. Remember earlier when we performed an attack on the FTP service? Basically, I had to do a Google search so I can discover the vulnerability, so I can find the CVE, then I had to find the exploits. Nmap can make that task easier for us by using the Nmap scripts. So for example, on the same port that we tested earlier, which is the FTP port, we can run an Nmap script to check for vulnerabilities of that specific service. When we are using this Nmap script, we are basically asking Nmap to check for us. Hey. Is this service vulnerable to this exploit or not? And as you can see in the results, it says yes, the service is indeed vulnerable. To go even further, instead of scanning for individual vulnerabilities, we can tell Nmap to run all the basic scripts for every service that it discovered, and we can do that using the TACSC parameter. and then you can observe in the results to check for any vulnerabilities and for any low-hanging fruits that you can exploit. In the following video, we'll dig a little deeper into other aspects of enumeration, like directory brute forcing, web crawling, and user enumeration. I will leave that video here in the end screen as soon as I upload it, so you can watch it if you're interested. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. If you appreciate the content, Take a moment to subscribe to the channel to stay updated. And as always, happy pen testing.